Welcome to class, everyone. My name is Yahaya. Today's class will be a yoga basics, which is one of my favorite classes to teach. We're going to get started seated so you can find a comfortable seat. And let's begin. Good. Once you're seated, make sure that you're comfortable. Bring your hands to your knees and close your eyes. Good. Let's start to focus on each breath. Focus on your inhale for a good focus on your exhale. As we go through class, I encourage you to breathe in and out through your nose. Before we get moving with our physical postures, we're going to do six rounds of square breathing to tap a little bit deeper into the breath and really make sure that that's a priority before we continue. Exhale everything out. Keep your spine long. Inhale four, three, two, one. Keep it four, three, two, one. Exhale four, three, two, one. One, keep it out. Four, three, two, one. Breathe in. Four, three, two, one. Keep. Four, three, two, one. Release. Four, three, two, one. Keep it out. Four, three, two, one. Breathe in. Four, three, two, one. Keep it. Four, three, two, one. Release. Four. Three, two, one. Hold it out. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. Keep it. Four, three, two, one. Release. Four, three, two, one. Keep it out. Four, three, two, one. Breathe in. Four, three, two, one. Hold it. Four, three, two. One, release, four, three, two, one. Keep it out, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, four, three, two, one. Hold it, four, three, two, one. Release, four, three, two, one. Keep it out, four, three, two, one. Very good. Have a moment here. Bring your hands to prayer at the center of your chest. Have a deep breath. Okay, then bow your head, release your hands to your knees, and open your eyes. Let's begin. Bring your arms beside you. As you inhale, take your arms up. Look up and connect your fingertips and your palms above your head. Exhale, release your arms back down beside your body to your fingertips. Good. Four more times like that. Breathe in. Take it up. Breathe out. Release it down. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Keep pressing down through your seat as we keep this movement going. Good. And keep your spine nice and long. Last one here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Very good. Let's get the side body. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Take a side stretch to your left. Good. Keep pressing down through your seat. If you have more space, you can take your bottom arm away from your body a bit. Good. Now listen to your next two breaths. to the center, release your right arm down. Use your inhale to lift your left arm. 
and exhale to your right. Good, check in on your seat, keep rooted. Try to soften your neck and your shoulders. Notice your next two breaths to go. Very good, come back to the center, release your left arm down. Good, inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, release it back down. Good, so I'm gonna turn sideways here so you see the next thing we're doing. Bring your arms beside your body on your fingertips, just slightly behind your hips. Start to lift your chest up and look up towards the ceiling. Good, very gentle back bend here. If you notice, my shoulders are still over my hips. Soften your shoulders down. Really let your chest shine open as well as your throat. Good, take two more breaths. Fill up your lungs. Very good, release it down. And now we'll come into a forward fold. Bring your arms out in front of you. Gently walk your fingertips away from your body. So here, if you're sitting on a block like I am, or a blanket, you can take it out. Good, tuck your chin. And soften your shoulders. So here, you can allow your back to round. Imagine the back of your body expanding as you inhale, and contracting as you exhale. Very similar to how the front of your, your ribs and your lungs do. your next two breaths. Very good, come back up to sit. Next up is a twist. So if you want to sit on your block again or your blanket, you can do that. Bring your arms beside you. Inhale, take your arms up. As you exhale, twist to your right. Make sure you're going to your right. Left hand to your right knee, right arm behind you. Keep lengthening your spine. Soften your shoulders. Good, and we'll be here for three more breaths. Good, on your next inhale, come back to the center, take your arms up, use your exhale twist to your left or the opposite direction, just in case you didn't go to your right to start. Good, and check in on your shoulders, let them stay relaxed and down. Good, three breaths to go. On your next inhale, come back to the center. Take your arms up one more time and bring them to prayer at the center of your chest. Very good. From here, lay onto your back. Good, and right away, bend your knees, plant your feet flat. Try to bring your heels as close to your seat as you can. Good. Hold here for three breaths, soften your shoulders down to the ground. You might even feel your lower back connect to the ground. Okay. And have one more deep breath before we start to add some movement. Good. Let's start with arm lifts. As you breathe in, lift your arms up. Four, three, two. One, and let's exhale for a four count as we bring the arms down. Four, three, two, one. 
Good. Inhale up four, three, two, one. Exhale down four, three, two, one. Continue it like that. Go at your pace. Maybe you're inhaling and exhaling for a little longer or a little shorter. But we have about five more rounds just like this. You don't have to keep up with me. And the idea here is that this is a nice gentle way to learn to link your movement and your breath. Get wherever you are. Have one more round. Very good. And rest your arms beside your body. Take a moment to relax. On your next inhale, lift your arms up all the way up to the mat if they get there and bend your elbows a bit. Relax your shoulders. You should feel pretty, pretty comfortable. Extend your right leg out and flex your right toes towards you. We'll begin with well, we'll take five rounds of leg lifts this time. As you inhale, lift your right leg up. Keep flexing your heel. Good. And go to a spot that's comfortable, but still an effort happening. And then exhale to release your right leg back down. Good. Let's try it for a four second count. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. One. Good. Three more times. Inhale up. And exhale down. Good. Continue at your pace. Good. Last one coming up. Very good. Bend your right knee. Have a breath. Very nice, and straighten your left leg out. Let's get the other side, flex your left heel. Inhale, lift your left, four, three, two, one. Release it down, four, three, two, one. Let's do it again with the breath count. Inhale up, four, three, two, one. Release it, four, three, two, one. One. Good. Three more times. Find your rhythm. Very good. Let's take one more. Inhale up. sit down very nice bend your left knee plant both feet bring your arms back beside your body and have a breath very nice this time we'll do moving bridges lifting the arms and the hips together as you breathe in press through your feet and lift your hips and arms as high as you can as you exhale release it back down to the ground together Good, four more like that. Breathe in, lift it up. Four, three, two, one. Breathe out. Four, three, two, one. Good. Last three here. Inhale up. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Good. Two more. Take it up. Four, three, two, one. Release. Four, Three, two, one. Good. Last one here. Breathe in. Four, three, two, one. Let it go. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Have a moment. Very 
Very good. Next up, bring your knees in towards your chest, hold onto your shins, and gently rock side to side. legs up in a 90 degree shape, knees over your hips and your shins as parallel as you can. Bring your arms beside your body and as you exhale, guide your knees to the left. Try to keep the 90 degree shape as best as you can. Go ahead and keep your right shoulder on the ground. If it starts to pop up, you can maybe bring a block or blanket underneath your legs to help lift them up so that your right shoulder stays down. This helps it so that the twist, your twist is coming from your spine. Good. We'll be here for about two more breaths. Take your time, you're gonna come back to center. 90 degree shape with your legs, maybe switch the prop to the other side. Good, and as you exhale, guide your knees to the right. This time, try to keep the left shoulder down. Last two breaths here. Nice. On your next inhale, come back to center. Good, hold on to your shins. One more time, gently rock side to side. Nice. And Neutral position, lift your head off the ground. Gently rock forward and back now. Good. And from here, come into a tabletop position. Take your time getting there, no rush. Good, once you're there, have your wrist underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Start by tucking your toes. Pull your navel in towards your spine and try to keep that engagement as we go in and out of the cat cows. Good, let's begin. Inhale to tilt your tailbone up, shine your chest forward. Good. And then use your next exhale to round your spine. Tuck your chin and this time untuck your toes, press the tops of the feet into the mat. Awesome. Use your inhale to lift your chest, tilt your tailbone up, and tuck your toes. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your tailbone, point your toes. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, round. Two more times, breathe in, lift it up. Good. You should feel your palms and your fingertips as you flow here. Good, last one here, breathe in, just relax your shoulders, lift your chest. Exhale, round it out, tuck your chin, push your upper back into the ceiling. Good, and come back to a neutral spine. Very nice. So from here, gently rock forward and back. Continue to engage your lower belly. Keep the navel slightly pulled in towards your spine. Good, and rock side to side. So transfer the weight from one arm to the other. Very good. And then circle around a bit. Big, could be a big circle or a small circle. Nice, 
face and switch directions. Good. And let's come back to your neutral position here. Take your fingertips outward to the sides of your mat. We'll open up the wrists a little bit. Wrist and forearms. This might be enough. You can also continue to flip it completely so that your fingers face your knees. Nice. So you might feel a nice sensation in your forearms. You can stay like this. You're welcome to do some cat cows with your arms in this position as well. Good. Good. Whichever option you're taking, have one more breath in and out, either holding still or with movement. Good. And come into a neutral position. Flip your fingertips to face forward. Awesome. And take a child's pose. Take your knees as wide as your mat. Extend your arms forward. Okay, so here your big toes should be touching or can be touching rather but try to soften your hips towards your heels soften your shoulders and really let your forehead rest into your mat you can continue to keep your arms extended forward or bring them beside your body and let go here back toes tucked let's have a moment here you can gently rock forward and back also you might feel a nice stretch in your calf muscle good and coming we're going to come into a side plank try to have your shoulders stay over your wrist for alignment and then bring your right foot flat let's take your left foot off the mat a bit and take your right arm up good Nice. So you should feel some nice weight in your left palm and your left fingertips. You can look up at your top and as you take three more breaths here. Very good. Release your right arm back down. Come back to tabletop position. And let's get the other side. Step your left foot back, keep the back toes tucked and gently rock forward and back. Very good. Now come into the side plank, bring your left foot flat. Right, bring your right foot off the mat a bit and take your left arm up. Try looking up at your top hand. Have one more breath here. Very good. Bring your left hand back down to the ground, back to your tabletop, and have a moment here. Good. Next up, step your feet back into a plank position. This is just a transition to downward facing dog. From here, Take your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Good, once you're in your down dog, 
You can make any adjustment that you might need. Make sure you're feeling good. Nice. And just a really nice option in down dog is to bend your knees. Kind of it relieves the back of your legs a bit. Kind of distributes the weight a little more evenly. Have your arms help out a bit more. But eventually you are going to lengthen and work your heels down towards the ground. Of course, one day at a time. Have one more breath here. Very good. Shift forward to plank. Drop your knees down and take a child's pose. Yeah, we're here for about three more breaths. Use this time to rest. Good. Deep breath before we continue. Very nice. On your next inhale, shift forward. Come back to your tabletop position. Good. And from here, step your right foot outside your right hand. Awesome. And take a moment here. So first stage, you can stay just like this. Second option, you can tuck your back toes and lift your back knee up. Good. So decide where you're going to stay. You might even play with both at some point. Good. If you have the back knee down, remember, totally fine. And now lift your right arm up for a nice twist here. Release it back down. Good. Let's do it two more times just like that. Breathe in, take your right arm up. Good, and bring it back down. Last one like that. Inhale, take it up. And exhale, release it down. Good. Have one more breath in this position. Very good, and come back to tabletop. Other side, step your left foot outside your left hand. And you can, again, tuck your back toes and lift your back knee up, or keep your back knee down. As you breathe in, take your left arm up, and release it back down. Good, two more times just like that. Twist to your left. Come back down. Nice. Last one here. Take it up. And bring it down. Good. Have a deep breath before we continue. Very good. Tabletop position. Step your feet back to plank. And back. Take your hips back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, lift your left leg up and bring your right knee behind your right wrist for pigeon pose. Good. Untuck your back toes. If you have a little more room to bring your right knee forward, go for it. But the sensation you're looking for is around your right hip, right glute area. Nice. Try to soften your shoulders, lengthen your spine. Maybe you come down to your forearms and also bring your forearms onto a block if you have props available. Good. So it's a nice place to be. You always want to find a nice balance between an effort but also making sure you enjoy your pose. Very important. Awesome. From here, 
You can put your prompt to the side if you used one. Come up onto your hands, tuck your back toes, and head to downward facing dog. Good. Let's pedal the feet a little bit. Lift your right heel up. Bring your left heel a little closer to the ground. And then switch sides, right heel down, left heel lifts up. Keep switching just like that. And the whole time stay active in your arms, keep pushing. Get the left side for pigeon this time. Lift your left leg up. Nice and guide your left knee behind your left wrist. Good, again, check if you have more room. You can bring your left leg a little bit more forward. Untuck your back toes. First stage, stay here. Nice long spine. Of course, you can lower down. Very nice. Start to make your way out. Put your props to the side. Plant your hands down. Tuck your back toes and head to downward facing dog. And same thing here. Pedal out your feet. down onto the onto your belly drop your knees down continue to shift forward and then bend your elbows bring your chest and forehead to the ground untuck your toes press the tops of your feet into the mat try to connect your big toe and your pinky toe good keep that connection and lift your head and your chest up for cobra good now release it back down Good, let's play with Cobra a little more. You might have to take your hands back a little bit more to make sure that your wrists are underneath your elbows or somewhere around there. Inhale, lift your head, your chest. Keep looking at the top of your mat and then release your head back down. Good, about three more to go just like that. Breathe in, lift it up, open your chest and then bring it back down. Very good. Two more. Inhale, lift it up, fill up, and empty it out, bring it back down. Good. Last one here. Lift it up, and let it down. Good. Have a moment. You can rest your head on your hands. To a sphinx pose, another nice gentle back bend here. Have your forearms as flat as you can, palms and fingers connect. Now lift your chest, soften your shoulders down, and press the tops of your feet into the mat, big toe to pinky toe again. Nice. So we'll be here about five breaths. You should feel your hips nicely connected to the ground. Feel the tops of your feet connected. Good, and hopefully you're getting a nice, just a very nice compression, gentle compression in your lower back and a nice opening in the front of your body. Good, let's continue 
rest your head down. You can rest your head on your hands again. Awesome. And let's prepare to come back to downward facing dog. Bring your hands beside your chest. Tuck your toes. Good, and you can maybe use your knees to come up into a supported plank and then lift your knees and hips up and back. Good, we're here for three more breaths. Keep your gaze between your feet or maybe up a little higher up your legs, maybe between your thighs or towards your belly button. Very good, now separate your feet as wide as your mat and gently walk your hands to the back of your mat, come into a squat position. So you can have your feet as wide as your mat or a little closer in, it just depends on how you're feeling in the posture right now. If your heels are lifted up, that's okay, but eventually you wanna to try to bring them to the ground few things to help that happen is taking your feet wider or point your toes outward Good. but eventually start to bring your feet a little closer Good. have your hands in prayer we'll be here about three more breaths this is a pose that gets does get better with uh, time all poses do but this can be this squat posture can be a little difficult in the beginning all right let's continue from here let's move into a rag doll position so as you lift your hips and take your head down take your heels outward a bit and if your feet weren't already as wide as your mat you can take them as wide as your mat bend your knees deeply connect your belly and your thigh and then hold your elbows Allow your head to release, soften your shoulders and your neck. Good, feel free to add a bounce, a little bounce or sway from side to side. Good. Final two breaths here. Very good, release your arms, let them dangle, and then plant your hands down, gently walk yourself forward, back into your downward facing dog. You can bring your feet back to hip distance apart, or even feet together. Good, have one more breath here. Very nice. On your next inhale, shift forward, come to plank. Drop your knees down. Good. And let's lay on to the back now. Just so make sure you have a block or um, a pillow or something that can elevate you either while you're seated or supporting your lower back. Something handy. Good. Once you're on your back, bend your knees again and take hold of your prop. Lift your hips up and place it underneath your sacrum. So that's about where your lower back and butt starts. <laughs> and you decide how high or low you're going with the prop. It doesn't have to be high. Find something that gives you a nice lift. Awesome. And take five breaths here. Soften your shoulders just a little bit more. Good. And let's continue 
It's time to lift your legs up towards your ceiling. And let's begin with making this active. Flex your heels towards the ceiling and take your arms up with your palms facing each other. Good, let's keep it nice and active for three more breaths. Awesome, last breath coming up. Good, and keep your legs up, release your arms down. And let's make some movement starting forward and back. Good. Doesn't have to be extremely wide, it just can be small movements. And you can explore your range as well. Good, and then bring your feet back together. This time, take them apart and in. Very good. Awesome job. One more. And let's continue. Bring your feet together. Bend your knees in towards your chest. And hold on to your shins for a moment. Also have three more breaths here. Plant your feet down, lift your hips up and put the block or your prop to the side. Good, straighten your body out and take five breaths here. Let everything neutralize for a moment. Got three more breaths, try to soften. Very nice. Make your way up. Good, and sit with your legs extended out in front of you. So this can be sometimes difficult to sit like this. If you notice that you're kind of leaned back or rounded, you can add a block. You can sit on a block or a blanket that helps to relieve the body, the lower back, and help to lengthen your spine a bit more. Good. From here, have your hands just beside your body. Sit as tall as you can. Relax your shoulders. Very good. And try to distribute the weight in your seat as best as you can. Press into both sides. Good. Have one more breath here. On your next inhale, lift your arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Hold on to the outer parts of your feet. Good, if you notice your hamstrings are screaming and your back is really rounded, bend your knees fairly deeply and then fold from there. Flexing your feet towards you as you fold. Good. On your next inhale, come up halfway, lengthen your spine, look forward.
come up all the way. Good. And relax for a sec. Very good job so far. Next up is a twist. Bring your right leg over your left. And try to have your right foot stay flat. You can keep your left foot straight or maybe bend it in underneath. So this can be a lot sometimes. And if you notice you're really leaned over or can't balance, then straighten your bottom leg back out. That's totally fine. From here, twist to your right. Wrap your left arm around your right leg and use your back hand for support. Good. Try to look the way you're twisting, the direction that you're twisting. And take one more breath. On your next inhale, come back to the center. And let's switch sides. This time left over the right. Good. Lengthen your spine and twist to your left. starting to rain where I am so there's a nice rain sound just outside the window okay, let's take two more breaths here good come back to the center and straighten your legs out very good from here, lay onto your back. And bend your knees in for a happy baby. Hold on to the outer parts of your feet. Good, so you're gently, in your happy baby, gently pull your legs towards you. Like, so you might feel a nice relief, nice relief in your lower back, your hips. Gently rock side to side. It's also a nice way to massage the lower back a bit. Thanks. And finally here, maybe extend one leg as you bend the other. Go ahead and switch sides. Together, hold your shins. Lift your head up, round yourself into a ball, hold on to your elbows. Good, release that and lay onto your back. Time to rest. It's been a fairly gentle class today, so we'll do 10 breaths on our back in Shavasana. Relax your heels, your calf muscles. Good. Soften your shoulders. Soften between your eyebrows and your jaw. Nice release your lower back and your hips. Very good. Have three more breaths.
good. Start to make some gentle movements. You can wiggle your toes, circle your ankles. Maybe move your head side to side. Good. It's nice to take a morning stretch as well. Thank you for joining class and I hope to see you next time.